All right, it is a time for the War Priest Axton mod. Now, this is a mod that has existed for a while and actually hasn't gotten an update in a while, but it is an overhaul specifically for Axton and his skill tree. I have not really like looked at it too hard yet, but I know that it's just for him. There are no other characters affected by the mod. The actual game itself is not affected, so I'll be running BL2Fix with all of its extra drop rates and quality of life stuff on, probably. And so that's pretty much the plan for the run. We're just going to be exploring the character skill tree, seeing how the character runs through the game, and just stuff like that, pretty much. Okay, so our action skill is called Battle Cry. Your battle cry boosts you and your teammates' morale and will to live. Increases multiple stats while the skill is active, initial duration of 30 seconds. It gives 40% boost to movement speed, 80% boost to melee damage, 20% reload time, and quadruples fight for your lifetime. I think that's how 300% turns out. So, I don't know if we get a turret. I, I don't think we get a turret. I think we just turn into a menace instead. And that's probably what a lot of our skill trees are going to go ahead and do for the character. Green skill tree. You and your allies regenerate health while battle cry is active, and it increases battle cry's duration. Haste increases movement speed while slowing every enemy in a 10 meter radius around you. That's kind of fun. Blessed shot increases bullet speed and bullet damage. Spoil. Enemies in a 7 meter radius around you receive more damage. Necessary means, while Battlecry is active, you and your allies regen ammo. Does not work with rockets. Heresy. The kill skill. After killing an enemy, your rocket launchers will shoot in a three-round burst with increased fire rate. Also slowly regen launcher ammo. Okay, kind of wish there was a number tied to that. Profane shrapnel. Increase explosive damage. Explosive wrath. Increase the blast radius of grenades. Also increases grenade damage. Mantra of Salvation increases damage and slows enemies in a 15 meter radius while in fight for your life. Okay. And then Soul Siphon. Battle Cry stops enemies close to you from healing. Every 5 seconds if you damage an enemy, you turn your damage dealt into healing for 3 seconds. Okay. So, no healing for enemies and a bunch of healing for us while Battle Cry is active. That's interesting. For our middle tree, we have Devil's Deal. You trade your shield in for increased gun damage. That's a lot of extra gun damage, so that'll feel probably pretty filthy. Puncture Shot increases gun damage and additionally increases crit while aiming. Bullet Hell increases fire rate. Sacred Mag increases mag size and ammo stockpile. Okay. Light of Hand improves aim speed and reload speed. Doubling up doubles your projectile count on all all weapons also double shot cost okay that's still kind of just a direct buff that's like a hundred percent fire rate effectively the critical mass decreases gun damage but greatly increases crit damage that's a lot of crit damage okay blessed guns kill skill after a kill your your weapons weapons a little bit of a typo the shot cost is reduced oh so double up plus blessed guns equals tada you now have two-time pellet at one-time cost. Elemental Equilibrium. Each element gets a different boost. Fire damage is buffed. Slag duration is increased. Corrosion chance is increased. And shock impact damage is increased. Path of Carnage. You've mastered the Art of War. Increases all your damage dealt from weapons, melee, and grenade. Unstable Strength. While Battlecry is active, you continuously lose health, but your explosive and gun damage are increased massively. Curious, that with Soul Siphon is probably a good move. From our right tree, Suppress Pain increases your damage reduction by 15% a level. That's really strong. Increases chance to reflect enemy bullets while your shield is full. Reflected bullets deal no damage. Okay, so crack sash. Lacerate, kill skill, killing an enemy boost your team... Boost your team their euphoria for a short time, granting increased melee and movement. Alright. Undying favor, fervor, increases your kill skill duration and action skill cooldown based on how much health you have. The lower your health, the higher the boost. Okay. Righteous shielding, kill skill, gives you shield regen. High priority target, you are more likely to be targeted by enemies while your shield is full. 
Increases bullet reflection chance by 10%. Okay. This seems just like guaranteed reflect at full shield. Holy water reduces the duration of elemental status effects on you. Also increases your and your allies' fire rate. Okay. Moral high ground increases action skill cooldown rate. Also increases your kill skill duration more. The shield tier... Tier? Tear. One of the two. Kill skill. Killing an enemy will half the shields of enemies in a 10 meter radius around you. Not too useful, but interesting. Fiery Faith. While your battle cry is active, you and your allies have an increased chance to resist death. So, grit. Penance. While battle cry is active, you trade a half of your max health in, ex in exchange for a massive amount of shield regen. Allies close to you have reduced shield recharge delay. Okay, so immediately, not as interested in this. We'll go left and middle, and then half of right. That's currently what I'm thinking. It just looks like getting an insane amount of damage from middle tree, pushing into left tree, and then rounding out with right tree for UVHM is probably just a really good move. I guess we'll just get about it. We really don't need to do a whole lot more else. Just run forward for now. Half shield skill, gonna go crazy against Vora. That's actually a good point. Having a raid boss's shield is pretty cool. I don't know how frequently that will come up though, so I don't think it's going to be an incredible investment of a skill. But, let's just think about the insane amount of damage we have and the potential class mods we could get. If this is a 5 out of 5 skill, this is 55% gun damage increase at a cost of a fourth of our shield capacity, which like, oh well. We can get the 14% crit per level on this skill at a cost of, like, what, 20% of our gun damage? So, like, that's even more insane. We are just, like, double up, doubles projectile count, also double shock cost, and then we get this to reduce shock cost. Uh, also, this means that some guns, if we avoided this skill, could just have infinite ammo. If we just don't pick up doubling up as well, that could totally be a thing. It's just a lot. We have a lot of damage potential here. Now, the only thing we don't appear to have is any amount of weapon swap speed. So we're going to be a little bit reliant on just like, you know, actually using our guns that we are holding well. And probably not swapping around too much for fear of things just going poorly. And then we do still have our legendary class mods to consider. Legendary soldier might be something weird. All of our Gen 2s might be something weird as well. I saw that they do exist in the mod. I just don't know what they buff in this mod. I'm sure whatever the Ranger replaces is totally going to be what we pick, though. Anything that just buffs Middle Tree a ton, is just it's going to give us a ton of damage. Especially if we can buff Devil Deal. That'd be super nice. I'm going to try to get a little bit of early XP here in Digipeak. If we're lucky, we'll get a rabid. If we're not, we're just not going to because, you know, RNG is uh, quite the thing. But all we need to do is just kite the first batch of skags over here. Stick your toes off of this ledge a little bit and then just kind of wait for them to come to you. The spitter skags will put you down, but we can get XP like this. Alright, we have level 5, so 13 mile an hour sprint speed, back into the skill, 21 mile an hour movement speed, that's pretty nice, that's probably about 40%, this is definitely not about 40%, that's, that's way more, but whatever, doesn't matter. Also, yeah, I will say, the fact that we don't have a proper action skill, besides just like general stat buff, might get a little bit boring. So, it's a good thing I'm running BL2 Fix and a bunch of XP multiplying stuff and all that. And probably doubly so why I would think that running a different mod with this would be a good idea. For now though, it seems kind of fun. Okay, we have a Rabid. There's no way it can knock us off the ledge. Please. Level 8. Life is good. Alright, let's start. It's a 6 point skip. Alright, well, I'm maxing that out. That's 66% more damage. 
Now I'm curious what the other skills are like. Maybe they have weird plus to skill too, instead of being proper 5 out of 5s. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and get some weapons from Fight for Sanctuary real quick. We could get like a Fire Snider or something would be really, really good for us. That shotgun alone is actually kind of really filthy. But yeah, let's just keep farming. Get a Fire Snider, maybe get some other stuff going on. I mean, it's a Snider. It's a level 9, so it's going to be about as good as we can get for right now. Let's let Mordecai kill a guy so we level up, and then just move on at level 11 here. Alright, let's see it in action. For being this underleveled, that's actually good damage. And it lasts for a good 30 seconds. I mean, we're not going to have it in time for BA Yeti fight, but I'll have our Skyrockets, which I am kind of conserving on purpose. But, yeah, this is nice. This is pretty good damage. And then without our action skill... Actually, I guess we don't really get gun damage from action skill. We just get the movement speed is really what I'm abusing there. It's mainly just the devil deal damage that's the nice one. You know, because I'm, I'm dumb and immediately forgot what our percent bonuses were from our action skill. But yeah, we just have Skyrocket for this guy. Normal early snowman nonsense, really. This has no plus to skill on it. This has no plus to skill on it either. Is this the way that they balance out the class mods? They just don't have skills on them? Surely some of them do, right? I'm not just in snowman DLC for no reason. I mean, right now, we really do just use our action skill as a movement speed tool, since it doesn't buff our gun damage, which is what we're relying on. I guess you could try to do a melee build with this mod, but also... Because all of our skills seem to be, like, plus to gun, or, like, other things that are similar. There are a couple melee things, and there's probably a Gen 2 melee comm, but... For now, this is really just what I'm feeling. Yep, good old snowman. Okay, two level ups. A little more mag size. We're getting real close to doubling up already. Alright. So, please, any class mod with plus to skills? Nope. Okay. Interesting. Alright, we're turning off Python part notifier. We'll see if we can see our plus to skills now. We can. Wait, so that means that the way that they added the... Okay. Okay, so Python part notifier was in the way. That's my bad. That's my mistake. We can see our skills. So now I just need to look for ones that buff devil deal. And then we're good. That's interesting. I've never had a mod conflict with Python part notifier before. Alright. Level 16. It's time. Okay, so it does display the multiplier on the stack card. So... That's totally fair. But also kind of unfortunate, but that's totally fair. That means that it won't be as OP with, like, B shields as I was hoping. Alright. So this provides plus two last rate and undying fervor. Okay, so we can get a lot of cooldown on the character, actually. That's not looking too bad. <gasps> Devil deal on a rifleman comm. Okay. Ooh, righteous shielding and onslaught. So, regen, and then plus two ammo regen. That's kind of nice. Okay, I'm down with that. I think we should go ahead and just rush progression for a little bit. I would really love to do pirate DLC and get Grendel quest going on because we could see what our riflemen can roll with, see if anything else also rolls with Devil Deal. 
we could get so much extra gun damage. It's going to cost us a lot of our shield capacity, but like, oh well, I don't care. Because that should just, this is just what I'm going to use. Anything with Devil Deal on it, and then a cooldown relic probably for most of the game. Until we can get a bone. Bone of the Ancients is going to be really nice too. Yeah, we're almost effectively quadrupling damage dealt per shot right now. Just from doubling up and our class mod. It's so dumb to think about it. I'm actually really tempted to just push Pirate DLC to get a Grendel quest. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. I, who cares? We're going to get it. I don't care. It'll be good. Hey, you. But Honestly, not as dead as I thought he'd be. Critical Mass and Devil's Deal? Okay. Well, that's the calm I want, but I want it the other way around. We can get Onslaught? Oh. That's Ammo Regen. Maybe a purple would go really, really crazy. Alright, Devil Deal and Critical Mass. Sweet. So now we get 100% increased gun damage. And I can get 42% more crit damage at the cost of a little bit of our insanely high gun. Sweet. I will say, there's probably definitely a tipping point where buffing critical mass is a bad idea. Because it'll just reduce our gun damage by too much. But I kind of also doubt that, considering the amount of crit we're getting. But I'll just, I'll be a little wary of really big plus to skill on it for a little bit, probably until I see what it actually looks like. But right now it's looking pretty good. Oop. It was a one shot. I guessed a two. Okay. It's just how he is. Hey. Alright. So how does the infinity work with doubling up? It doesn't consume any more ammo. This makes sense. It multiplies ammo cost. The infinity costs zero. It equals zero. Sweet. So we just get a two times damage infinity with no drawback. And then of course, you know, our plus two devil's, devil's deal and critical mass. Nice. And bad maw. Who'd have guessed? Yeah, with our action skill active, we're just, like, super duper fast. So this is nice. I wonder how Warden fight's about to go. Wow. Easily. What a surprise. Oh no, it's Wilhelm. Okay. Kind of blocked a couple of the... Is this funny? Wait. I mean, it's basically just a redundant Logan's gun. Okay. We'll consider it. And Thresher. Yeah, this is not a surprise. Alright, time to farm out Layudas. Oh hey, a Layuda. Oh, it's level 19. Well, I mean, we're gonna level up from quest turn in anyway. So... Roll that to be a 5.8. Slap that on the character indefinitely. Put on Layuda. Nice. So this should be... Yeah, there's two sets of pellets. They're just really, really snug on each other. But that's going to feel super cool. Okay. Level 20. Okay, so that is a one point skill. So we'll put one point in there, of course. And then I guess I'll just buff puncture shot since it'll buff our gun and crit. Although it is the aiming one. Yeah, we'll go with bullet hell for the fire rate. 
That'll probably be more universally better for us. Sure. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright, level 21. So, this specifically reduces shot cost by 1. Which means that for a gun like this, it will consume 6 ammo per shot after we factor 4 double up. And then you subtract 1, that'd be 5 ammo per shot. Unless it applies first, then it'd be 4 ammo per shot, which would be nicer. Guess we're gonna find out. Hold on, let's get a kill. Okay, so it's it's after. It's gotta be after for that to count, right? Yeah. Alright, well it's a post ad. That's kinda cool. I'm down with that. And max out critical mass. That is 98% more gun damage with just a plus 2 com. That's so much damage. That's going to be insane. If any class mods buff this, like any of the legendary class mods, this is going to be way too much. And then yeah, I'm buffing bullet hell to get down to Path of Carnage, and then we're getting unstable strength, moving into left tree for the health regen, and then just getting more damage. Just a lot more damage over here. Alright, I think we'll take level 23 and probably be done for the day. We are making such good progress. Everything is going very, very well. Yeah, I think I'll do the fire rate. We'll just leave these two as 4 out of 5s. And yeah, uh, everything is going great. The character is filthy. 100% gun damage. Minus 28% here, but like 98% more crit. So, who cares? And then we're going to move towards more weapon damage. We've got doubling up, which gives us basically double fire rate effectively, if you think about it that way. And then reduce shot cost to here, having or at least reducing the amount of ammo burnt on kill is insane too. And we don't know how much unstable strength is, but it's a bonus, so I'm not going to complain about it. And then we'll just use Resonating Faith and hope that it counteracts it. And also it gives extra duration to Battlecry anyway. So, but yeah, everything seems pretty nice so far. I am enjoying this mod. This is going to be a nice casual little run. Day one. 